So I've been asked to make this video a bit longer than the first one I sent in. Um, just trying to get my head around it, all really. It's all new to me. Um, just being ghosted out of the blue to me, totally out of the blue. Um, after some beautiful time with someone who I thought was a beautiful woman. Um, Cause that's what she masqueraded as. Uh, a woman who loved me, that fed my own narcissistic traits for adoration and the things that I'm missing from my childhood. She met everything, ticked all the boxes. Ticked all the boxes. She was a dream come true. And I thought we had a great relationship. Everything in common. Um, a few blips along the way about me getting angry and um, she convinced me to take a test for ADHD, which I did. And she, she basically said, if you don't do something about it, we're over. So I was, I'd do it, I would have done anything to carry on being with her. And I did, I had the test, went through private psychiatry UK, uh, did all kinds of assessments, went on a, a, you know, a triation period of drugs, which I'm on medication now for my ADHD. That was all because she convinced me that that was wrong with me. Um, and then there was RSD that she said oh, she was convinced I had that. So all these things that she knows, I really don't handle rejection very well. She knows I've got problems, anger issues from childhood trauma. She knows about the fact that I was adopted, found out I was adopted when I was 36 years old. You know, know nothing about my real father and he knows nothing about me. She knows all these things. And then just totally ghosted me. And like it had all been set up, she'd made arrangements and, you know, didn't say a word to me. And I found out through someone who was still in contact with her, because she's unblocked on everything. Uh, that she left me because I was a narcissist. I thought that I knew what that was. <clears throat> just someone who's vain yeah I'm vain I'm self-absorbed I suppose I've had my head filled with the idea that I was going to be famous from as early as I can remember with my artwork um, so yeah slightly inflated sense of self-worth and importance um, probably brought on by an alcoholic mother and a overcompensation of love, the wrong kind of love, drunk love, not the kind of love a kid needs. So, yeah, I'm not saying woe is me, that's just, my, that's just my life. But yeah, so, and I look into what narcissism actually meant and what narcissistic abuse constituted. And I saw a lot of myself in that and it, horrified me, horrified me, seeing myself. I didn't deny it, I totally admitted full responsibility for these actions. And it terrified me thinking that I treated the woman I loved like that without knowing at all. I knew I seemed to push girls away after a certain time, but I didn't know why, I didn't have a clue why. So I spent, you know, I was plunged into hell. <laughs> Didn't know who I was. I was never gonna paint again. I looked at everything in my life and everything was stripped of its meaning to me. I literally did not know who I was. My personality just crumbled. Um, my ego was blown to pieces. Uh, I just couldn't understand it. I could not understand it. Reading about these monsters 
and thinking that's me because I recognize some of the traits. And as I'm reading or watching your videos, Narc Survivor, God bless you for your videos. I'm like, but I have empathy. Unbelievable empathy, everything I do is for other people. And al it's altruistic. It's not for my own uh, validation. I, you know, maybe I have got, um, I'm very confident about my work. I'm not full of insecurity. I have the, the normal healthy amount of insecurity about my work, but that just makes me want to get better. And so many of these things just weren't making sense. So I'm like, okay, I've got narcissistic traits. I'm, I'm booked in for counseling. I'm going to sort them out. And then I saw my ex-girlfriend on the street and she just looked through me. Like I didn't exist. And I mean, total cold, totally cold um, from love, from, well, from a pretty good approximation of human love, showing someone human love. Um, she fooled me. Um, I just couldn't get my head around how she could just switch it off like that. How can you just stop caring for someone? Not only that, how can you willfully be torturing someone? No explanation, no answers, nothing, nothing, nothing. But that's what you do to a narcissist. That's what you have to do. But I'm not a narcissist, remember. Um, and then I see this, then I see this video about narcissistic ghosting, <clears throat> and then narcissistic eyebrows. How to tell a narcissist, from her. and then the mirroring, and the love bombing, uh, everything that she did to me in the early stages. Looking back, I'm going back and retrofitting my memories because they're all fake you know I mean I think we might very well be living in a sim simulation of some kind but my whole relationship with I can't really call her a woman and I'm not being you know that would be bad to women uh, it scared me it's the scariest thing I've ever encountered. The cruelest thing I've ever encountered. The most duplicitous, just calculating, cold, totally devoid of empathy, compassion. Um, everything was a lie. <laughs> it's like, Watching a movie, the sweetest love movie, love story ever, and it's from the guy's perspective. And then you see the same film from the girl's perspective, and it's a horror film. Because she, she's making you out to be this narcissist. And then the twist, the Twilight Zone twist in the end, is that all along she was a narcissist and she's just projecting it all onto me. I saw its true face once when I criticised, when I dared to criticise something, some epic of music we'd been working on together. Uh, uh, I dared to give my opinion. And if looks could kill. I've never been looked at like that before. I've never seen a shark up close, but I should imagine that's what a sh shark's eyes would look like, cold, dead doll's eyes, not human. I did not recognize this woman in that instance. So it's true face. Oh, it shit itself, it was running after me, apologizing left, left and right. Because <laughs> it knew I'd seen its true face. They don't like being, having their masks taken off, do they? Gotta keep hidden. They walk, they walk amongst us, these monsters. They're not just at the movies and horror comics. They're real. Be careful, people.